Hi guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. Today I have a very delicious crock pot recipe to share with you. Today I am making beef and cheddar sliders. This is definitely one the whole family enjoys and it couldn't be easier to make. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make it. Okay friends, so before we jump into this really easy and delicious recipe, I wanted to let you know that today's video is part of a collaboration with the very crafty Kelly over the channel Kelly Barlow Creations. Now she just reached over 100,000 subscribers on her channel, so definitely check it out, it is awesome. And by the way, I've actually collabed with her before and it was awesome. We both did the Dollar Tree Makeup Challenge. It's a fun video, you should definitely check it out. I will link it down below. Yeah, cause makeup's not something I normally share on this channel, so you might find it really interesting or weird. But check it out. Anyway, Kelly is also gonna be sharing a delicious crock pot recipe, so definitely go check out that video as well. I will link it down below. Now let's get started. Now like I said, this recipe couldn't be easier and it comes out perfect every time. I'm starting with a bottom round roast. This one is about three pounds. I'm also using some salt and pepper, to your taste of course. I'm also using onion powder, smoked paprika, and brown sugar. I'm also using two cups of beef broth, and about eight or nine garlic cloves. Now I know that sounds like a lot, but don't worry, it will totally mellow out. Now you guys, I promise this time I will remember to link the recipe down below. I'm sorry, I totally forgot last week. I don't know what I was thinking, but I was at Disneyland, so it was hard to, for me to fix that problem. So sorry, I definitely have the link in the description box this time. I'm going to start by spraying my crock pot just to make sure nothing will stick. Then I'm gonna add my beef. Next comes the spices. I'm gonna sprinkle on my salt, my pepper, my onion powder, and my paprika. Next, I'm adding some brown sugar, and I definitely want to rub this in all over just to make sure it sticks. So you can definitely tell I have a little bit of a sweet, savory thing going on with this dish. Next, I'm going to add my broth, and I'm gonna very carefully add it to the side because I don't wanna wash off all of the rub I just put on the meat. Next, it's time for all that garlic. Now you definitely could use less if you prefer, but like I said, this garlic is totally gonna mellow out over the cooking process and it's going to be delicious. Even my kids, who can sometimes be picky, love the garlic in this. I'm just gonna add the whole clove in here. I don't even have to chop it or anything. Next, I'm going to get my lid on and cook this on low for about six hours. You really just wanna cook this until it will shred apart easily. If you overcook it, it's probably gonna be dry. And now it's time to shred up the beef. I do like to remove any big pieces of fat because I don't like to keep it in there. And to keep the beef extra moist, I am gonna ladle some of the broth onto the meat. And now it's time to build the sliders. Now I'm just gonna be making a few today, but you definitely could take your entire loaf of Hawaiian rolls and cut the whole thing down the middle and do it that way in a baking dish. But like I said, I'm just making a few today. So I'm gonna take my rolls and cut them open. I'm gonna add my beef, and then I'm gonna to top this with some sharp cheddar cheese. Then I'm gonna stick this back in the oven until the cheese is melty. Now, if you ever find yourself at Disney's California Adventure at Disneyland, there's a restaurant called Flo's V8, and they sell a sandwich that is just like this one, the beef and cheddar. So it's totally a Disney-inspired recipe as well. And there you have it. Super easy, super delicious. I hope you give it a try. If you enjoyed this video today, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're here for the first time from Kelly's channel, welcome. I am so glad that you're here. I hope that you will stick around and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.